I leave the body guy alone for two seconds and I come back and he's already ripped this back quarter panel out and he finds a TV remote inside of the bottom of this panel. I guess he cut it out and down goes the TV remote. It's got everything you need. It's got the remote, it's got the battery and the back cover. So if anybody's looking for a remote for their TV, I found it. Dan's clearly back at the body shop. We're taking care of the rusted out quarter panel on the second side. So if you haven't caught the last video that we did repairing the rust on the other quarter panel, I will try to link that either up in the top card above here, which I always forget about, or at the end of this video today. It feels so good to know that I'm getting more of this stuff taken care of. As he grinds away at that back quarter panel, he's finding a whole lot of Bondo, meaning that the vehicle has gone through a major repair in the past. He found some bodywork that was done on the opposite side of the van when we worked on it about a month ago, and today he's finding a lot of it on the opposite side. When I bought my van, it had all the, you know all the records, you know how you run your vehicle through some kind of a search? and it gives you a total clear thing saying it's never been in a motor vehicle accident, never had any major insurance claims. Well, my van came clean, but that doesn't mean the vehicle's never been in an accident. It just means that accident was never put through insurance, so there's no record of it. Well, my van apparently has been in a rear-ender accident before, so what he's doing now is grinding away at that back quarter panel, trying to find the metal, which is way underneath the Bondo. He's working hard today. trip's turning out to be a little bit more expensive than I expected, but that's what happens when you do rust repair the proper way. Normally people just scuff down the front of it so it's flat, put some Bondo on it, put some paint on it, make it look pretty, but when you do it right and actually cut the rust out, you see what's going on behind that rust. And some of the rust that he's finding on my van is actually coming through the back underside where it's come through into the panel, rotted through the panel to the visible front side. So like use this for example, the rust isn't coming, going from outwards in, it's coming from the inside bottom through the outside hole, meaning that you have a full rusted inside panel. And that's what we've come into in a lot of the repairs so far on this time. He's cut it open, he's like, uh-oh, we got a deeper issue going on on the inside, which means he has to address that before he can make the outside look pretty again. So this one's costing me a little bit more than I was hoping, but, um, 
it makes you feel good inside knowing that your home is a little bit more rust free. That's kind of like getting, it's kind of like getting rid of rotted wood in a real house. You know what I'm saying? That's my van. That's my house. That's my rolling freaking condo. So to take care of all that kind of stuff, as much as it hurts to spend that money, because right now I'm dipping into my emergency fund a little bit to cover some of this stuff, but it's worth it. It's my house. It is such a massive relief to have all of that rust taken care of on the van and having it done right makes me feel so damn good. We did four days of rust repair in total on my house. We did two days in the last video you've seen and today was filmed over two days as well too. Uh, it feels so, so good. There's still a little bit of work to be done on it, which I'm going to be doing myself like you guys seen my rock chips. There's a few chips and stuff along the doors. I'm going to be doing that myself because I don't feel the need to pay somebody to do to, to do the minor things that I can do. <laughs> At least I hope I can do. But it felt great to have everything else professionally done. This back panel was the one we did on my last trip. We just bought an actual manufactured molded panel. It was cut and welded in. I will link that video at the end of this video. And I just spray bombed it with a can of spray paint and it turned out pretty good. I mean, it's not a perfect match, but hey, the rust is gone. We don't have to stare at it anymore. This one clearly is the one that was done yesterday. Another brand new panel piece cut and welded in. Yeah, man, I'm pretty stoked on that one. And this was just a big fat scratch chip there that he fixed as well too, because it was close to it. Down here was a huge hole. So he had cut that out, fixed that all up. Brand new piece of metal welded on the bottom of my door here. Because if you've ever noticed in the video, <laughs> this was rotted, like jagged all the way along. Another little repair underneath there. There was a little hole just up in the bottom there. So we cut that out, welded a new piece in there, fixed that one up. And on my door piece here, this whole bottom section was rotted right out. So we bought a complete new piece of metal. That there is a full molded piece that he had cut, welded it all in there. <laughs> he did such a good freaking job on that. But it feels good not to have those major, major problems anymore. I learned a lot from George. Being able to film the entire process from beginning to end over that entire four days that I spent with him. I learned a ton about body repair and how much work is involved in it. And every time he cut something open, he's like, Chrome, come here. And he showed me what was going on behind and explained how things are rotting from the inside out and the outside in and ah, so much information. But all I gotta say guys is please get the major rust repairs done on your van professionally. Don't just sand it down, putty it up and send it out the door because it's gonna continue to rot from the inside and you're gonna have that problem way faster than if you would just go get it professionally done. That way he can cut it out, fix up the inside, fix up the outside, weld new pieces on it and make it look pretty and have it last a whole lot longer. But when your van is rusting, it's going to continue to rust. You're never gonna be able to stop that forever. It's like all of this rust repair here. You know, it might last me two, three, four, five years, but the rust is still there on the inside. It's gonna rot its way through sooner or later. There's no way around it. That stuff's like cancer. But hey, I feel great that now that I don't gotta see it anymore. Anyway, everybody, uh, hopefully some of these rust videos have been a little helpful to you. Uh, but when it comes to you guys buying a vehicle off a of Craigslist or any used car lot, please remember that when that clean record says it's never been in a motor vehicle accident, 
it might be bullshit. Because <laughs> mine clearly was. Mine said my van's never been in an accident. Well, George told me your van has been in quite a bit of a rear end accident because there's bondo and damage that's been repaired on both sides. And you don't know that stuff because you trust those records. But keep in mind that a lot of people do buy cars that people didn't have insurance on and body guys will buy them and quickly get it together and boom, sell it off. Or car lots, maybe the car lot I bought mine from, I don't know. Um, car lots might do that stuff. They'll buy vehicles, people didn't have insured, had some damage, never went through a claim. They'll do the body work on it, make it pretty, throw it on the lot and sell it out the door. If that's what happened to me, I'm okay with that because I love my freaking home. But just be cautious when it comes to buying vehicles. Do I regret buying mine? No freaking way, man. Mine is worth every single penny and I love it. I don't care that it had rust. I don't care that about two years being in my van that I had to spend this money to do the rust, rust repair. I feel good about it. So, eh, whatever. Buy what feels right to you, period. All right, I gotta go, bye.